Hey YouTube, every man prepping here. Today I'm outside in my chicken coop area and I want to have a little talk about chickens. I haven't done a chicken in a while. And as you see here, my hens and the rooster. And uh, it's getting fall time here, a little crisp to the air. And I wanted to basically talk to the new chicken owners out there. I know a lot of you that are experienced chicken owners, had them for years, will know this. But at this time of year, you're going to start seeing a great reduction in your egg production. There's a very, very uh, good reason for this. There's nothing wrong with your chickens. But during fall and winter especially, you might get no chickens. No chickens. You might not get any eggs some days. Or maybe just one or two and the reason being there's two reasons as the day as the daylight hours decrease they produce less eggs that's just uh, a lot of the egg production is based on the amount of daylight hours out there and so in the fall and the winter they're going to produce less eggs just due to the less amount of daylight now also in the winter your chickens will start to molt let me throw them some scratch and when they molt they'll lose their feathers uh, sometimes it doesn't happen to all at once sometimes they skip years sometimes it's all of them no idea why it uh, happens that way, but uh, and some chickens are only you know less than a year old won't molt at all, but they will molt. And the way they do, they lose their feathers. They will look horrendous. They look like alien chickens. Um, some molt heavily. Some molt uh, just a few feathers around the neck or uh, wings. But when they're molting, they won't lay. They will not lay any eggs while they're molting. It's very painful. You'll see them walking around very gingerly. So uh, they 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 uh, won't do any egg laying at all in the molting. So in the winter, you have lack of daylight and molting, which will reduce your eggs. So store whatever you have now as they're making them. You know, if you have extra, you know, if you don't want to, you know, give them away, or if you were selling them, you might want to keep them because during the winter, for you new people, you're going to have a lot less egg production. Now some people, uh, to uh, help produ production during the winter, will have a light on in the coop. They will, you know, make sure that there's, you know, 12 hours of light, you know, you know, take out how many daylight out there's eight hours of regular sunlight they'll add four hours of a light bulb at night this will help increase uh, egg production it will work um, thing is though you know uh, chickens only have so many eggs in them and they're only gonna produce so many so if you you know run them hard all year long including the winter they're gonna you know stop producing faster and then you'll have hens that don't make eggs so you know it's up to you also for you know, new people out there you know winter time keep them warm you know, if you have a, a watering system or just a jug of water or a, a water like I showed you how to make in a previous video, I'll put a link or a card above so you can see. Um, in your area where it freezes, make sure you have a heater, a water heater in there, something to keep the water from freezing. You know, don't forget about the chickens, they need to drink. Um, also, make sure they have plenty of food. And you can see the scratch I'm throwing on the ground, which is just regular scratch grains you can get at any feed store. Um, what it is in the morning, uh, I give them scraps that we have throughout the day. I have a little uh, container I put on the kitchen counter. All the scraps from you know the, the fruits, the vegetables, the breads, whatever scraps we have, we put in there. We bring it out in the morning and give it to them. They're like mini garbage disposals, these guys. They'll, they'll eat all your scraps. It's great. And help reduce your food costs for feeding them. And then the nighttime, you'll want to give them some scratch uh, before they go to bed, especially when it's really cold. The extra calories will burn, help them stay warmer. So, you know, remember those scratches like candy to them basically um, but it's you know get a nice organic scratch that's corn let them eat a couple handfuls before they go to bed and help them stay warm as well because you're going to need these guys um, you know you should definitely get your chickens if you have them you're going to need them to keep eggs and you know if you raise them for meat you can for meat but you're going to need these guys you know the world is not getting any calmer in fact if we review real quickly we have we have xi and china just got reelected for the third time and now he's like supreme, super duper uh, leader, you know, emperor forever. So look for them to go after Taiwan soon since he's got the vote of confidence from the Communist Party. Today you got Russia claiming that uh, the Ukraine's going to do a dirty bomb, a nuclear dirty bomb. And Ukraine saying, no, that's actually Russia going to do their own dirty bomb. They're just going to blame it on us. Uh, you got the 101st Airborne deploying to Romania because, you know, heck, why not? Why don't we just send American troops into Ukraine? So... You know, they got a lot of things going on over there and a lot of food shortages here as it is, you know, the bird flu and all that. So keep your chickens happy through the winter. Keep them alive. Keep them warm. Uh, you're going to need them. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. You know, if you have questions about chickens, how to raise them, you know, what's going on with them, you have a problem, you have a suggestion for people in very cold climates, how to keep them warm and happy and not freezing, um, you know, put it down below. Let's help each other out. And, you know, make sure that we all have, a, you know, means to eggs and meat uh, when we need it. Uh, enjoy your day. 
Uh, have a good one. Until next time, keep your ear to the ground and head on a swivel.